How good is this, a matchup for the UFC welterweight division title? Hey guys, this is JJ Judah, who showed the welterweight championship between Bruce and Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Lisbon, Portugal. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White champion of the world, El Toro. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, 
really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. How good is that right hand? Just out of the range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Missed with that right hand. He's able to slip the left. Ooh, head kick lands from hurt. kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. here. Real nice body kick lands. And there comes the separation now. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice punch land over the top. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Right hook to the body. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice kick. Oh! Right on the button. Just over two minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look is there again. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Damage there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but there he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. He saw the tail of the tape, he has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. How about that shin? There's no tail on that leg kick. Missed with that attempt. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Just missed with the leg kick. Big head kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Real quick leg kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. 
ready? You ready? Fight. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just missed with the left there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Knee, that's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. He's chopped the wood with his leg kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And now he's got that tight clinch. He lands a big knee to the body. Big elbow there, Lance. Wow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. It's broken, I think. Wow, what a head kick! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. He's done it! He's done it! Oh, straight right! Way to hide that leg. Nice punch by Lee. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is gonna take advantage of it? So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Looking to land the right just out of range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch there by Lee. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Twenty seconds to go, round two. This guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. 
Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. but that attempt missed. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Lee going for the head kick, no dice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Just out of range with that right hook. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch, Lance. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent's there. He's out! Holy smokes! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so we dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you gotta take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight, and you gotta take your hat off to him for staying focused for so long and getting it done. All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, 
unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date. Can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Lisbon, Portugal, presenting the challenger, El Toro. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Ready? for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Looking to land the right, just out of range. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. Though. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lee's knee to the body looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is blocked. And he switches his stance yet again. Dig and kick. Oh, big head kick. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Yeah. 
Three minutes to go here, round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a nice combination of kicks once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. with a nicely timed uppercut. Relax, relax. Keep your head oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Big kick lands. Oh! He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Shot is blocked. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big punch land. Punch and kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Final seconds here of round one. Pretty good right hand. Nice. Is it a shot there, CC? I'm not sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect, got the knee to the target, and really did hurt his opponent. But he's not up by much. Good right here. All right, well, he's landed some good shots. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Nice straight punch. He blocks the punch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Able to land with that punch. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, and there's the kick. That one checked by Lib. Look at the whip action that comes in for that kick. Whiffs on that offering. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. This fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And that one was heavy. Man. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Out of range with that one. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. That's a could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's a block, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Look at how he turns his hip. Looks at that leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands in the middle. Oh, that's a good right hand. Yeah. Lee gets hit with a kick. There you go. Stay tight. Stay tight. Hit the double leg. Connects now with the one two. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Just misses there with the left. 20 seconds to go round two. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Two oh, rounds in the books. Stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. You're destroying him like that. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Plus, stands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown. He's out! Strike to end this 
fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. So he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you got to take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight. And you got to take your hat off to him for staying focused for so long and getting it done.